And welcome everyone here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for our last weird champion combo deck of the day. We're pairing Braum and Jinx together. That's right, that's our last one here, Braum Jinx. This is a uh, viewer submitted list. The other ones I put together, but this was one from um, a viewer here in chat that says they've been uh, trying this out and, and having some success with it a little, you know, a little bit. You know, it's obviously you know, like we are a Braum Jinx deck, but you know, it, it gets it gets to, to see some play. So. All right, let's see what we got here. So we have, um, first and foremost, we have a whole lot of card draw. That's what our deck's trying to do. You know, like we have Rummage, where we discard draw. We have the Urchin that uh, we had to discard when we play it, but whenever it dies, we draw. Sentry draws. Entreat draws a champion, so it's, that's still drawing. Um, and then we have uh, Augmented Experimenter drawing, and then whenever we level up Jinx, uh, we draw an extra card each time. So we're getting a lot of card draw. Now, uh, what to do with that card draw is basically we want more Jinxes because basically we always want it, like Jinx is the most important card in our deck. We want to have a leveled up Jinx. So we're drawing two cards a turn. If they kill our Jinx, we want to have another Jinx. And so be because of that and because of how important Jinx is with this deck, um, we not only have the entreats to find the Jinxes, but then we also have two co copies of counterfeit copies. Uh, the counterfeit copies can put four more jinxes into our deck and so therefore we can you know keep keep uh drawing jinxes and everything um and because you know like basically you know after we level up jinx and we draw cards and then, then we play our cards and we kill our opponent uh to death with the super mega death rocket um braum just basically gets to play some some good defense for us help help us stay alive and uh help us get to the late game of uh just going all in on Jinx. So that's what our deck's about. Um, yeah, that's what that's all that's our deck right here. So here we go. Let's get started. If you counterfeit a Jinx, get excited and Jinx on Jinx on board dies, do they become Jinxes? I don't know. Do they, are they just, I think, I think I would guess that they're just Jinxes get excited in your deck. And so whenever you draw them, you'd have to cast them to put a new Jinx in your deck. Um, yeah, exactly. Who knows? Could be anything. Um, this is kind of weird. So we're playing against the control deck. Uh, I don't want this, but then what are we doing with these things? Do we just keep them all? Do we keep none of them? Try to find ones and twos? I know that Jinx is incredibly important to us. But with that being said, we don't want to have... Like, we don't want our Jinxes just to die right away and not level up. This is going to be like a removal heavy deck where if I don't have anything else that I'm doing, if I'm not doing anything else and all they have to do is just sit back and then they kill, kill the first Jinx, kill the second Jinx, we can be in a whole lot of trouble if we just don't do anything before playing Jinxes. Exactly. Yeah, you say we just want to empty our hand by turn four or five. Yeah, exactly. But like, so keeping all those expensive cards, we just weren't going to be able to do that. I don't really need to let them play like a skitter or something like that. We'll just go straight to combat. So should we 
I feel like we should discard, you know, obviously we can discard the Chompers, so then we basically need to discard either the Shot or the Braum to draw to. It's probably the Mystic Shot. But... They are... Okay, never mind. Yeah. We'll just play... We'll just play Braum. Let's just do that. Let's just play Braum. All right, that should hopefully help us find Jinx. So I have a plan to level up the Jinx this next turn. Let me change into something more. Come together. Uh, leveling up Braum, uh, once Braum survives 10 damage, then every then Braum gets two additional toughness, and every time Braum survives damage, uh, you gain a mighty Poro. I kind of want to hit the Elise. I assume we have all the get ex get excited in here, right? Yeah. Now I can rummage away both of these and then level up Jinx. Hey, stop scratching. No scratching. Nope. Basically clearing up the spot here with his flame chompers. All these things being fearsome is kind of rough. Um, I I don't I didn't want to attack with these because I didn't want to just draw a bunch of cards with them yet. Because I kind of need to play this experimenter first. Because we need to kill the Spider Queen Elise with the experimenter. Which means we're going to just discard all these. Which is fine. 
and then we draw a super mega death rocket that we don't even get to cast. Um. Less thinking, more pew pewing. Yeah, I mean, I just have to kill Elise. So it'd be a great time to, to play a Super Mega Death Rocket. Man, we are really rifling through cards, aren't we? Stay away from that switch. Look out for Reavers. That's actually working out pretty well. It's going to be difficult to get these super mega death rockets. Maybe I need to... There we go. So yeah, what happens with the counterfeit copies for the Jinx Get Excited? Does anybody know? Um... Anybody knows what's going to happen here? Do we just shuffle in Jinx's Get Excited in, into the deck? Okay, yeah. Nobody knows, but <laughs> it's safe to assume you're going to get Jinx's Get Excited. That's true. Hopefully be six points of damage. Guess not. I probably should I probably should have just waited on the counter for copies. I didn't have to cast that right away. I should have just waited on that. Need to cast it right, right again. Yeah, you can you can make copies of your counterfeit copies. Yeah, you can definitely do that. Having two augmented experimenters doesn't make any sense. Because the, the first one, like, when you play one, it'll just discard the other. Okay, cool. So they actually just give you, like, regular jinxes. But the problem is... I have 10 mana, so if I play Jinx, get excited, and then play the Experimenter, we won't have 2 mana for the Super Mega Death Rocket. Gone. 
really? Oh, they were just gonna jump block with like the one one. So many jinxes. Five. That's gonna kill me. That's gonna. That's, that's gonna kill me. Well, my only play to stay alive is the experimenter here and block Karina Veraza. That was a really great Karina Veraza. Do not test my patience. Uh, two of them in a row, four damage yeah. and then five damage. Yeah, we could never, like, they have all these spiders, we could never empty our hand. Um... Still a cool, a cool, really cool deck idea. It didn't, it didn't work out for us, but uh, yeah, really cool, you know, idea and practice didn't quite help. You think the dog would learn whenever I tell it to not bark? Every time it barks, that maybe it shouldn't bark. All right, Harrowing Ash. Yeah, that's true. We did get to see a lot of our deck in, ac in action for that game, so that was good. So Flame Chompers don't really look like anything special. Especially because we don't have any way to pump them up. We have no way to make them larger. And so they're just O2s. But they could help some other creatures like get some damage in. Or they can jump block. Flame jumpers. Come on, opponent. You haven't played against a Brom Jinx deck before? Okay, so you okay, you discard experimenter early on. You don't just just hold on to experimenter all the time. I can see that the experimenters were were uh, kind of in the way. Like they were giving us too many cards. We couldn't empty our hand. For 
those super mega death rockets. Oh my gosh, come on opponent. Alright, so they have Brittle Steel or... They likely have Brittle Steel or Elixir of Iron. Frostbite my Braum. Oh, that's rude. That is the anti-Braum card. That's for sure. Like, how do we have to get paired against, like, the one dude playing Rhymefang Wolf whenever we're trying to play Braum? Come on. Stop drawing more Braums. This is not going ideal. Not going ideal. So it looks like we'll be most likely be owned too. I don't really see how we get out of this. Uh, they haven't announced when the game will be officially released yet. There we go. That's that's how we can get out of this. That's what we need. Get excited for the Ash, Mystic Shot for the Wolf. Those are the cards we need. Anything else like this turn? For all your dream over there. Archer, Wolf, Ash, Hearthguard. That's the Frell your dream. Not elixir of iron. Oh, All right, good. We we have Jinx in hand with our with our counterfeit copies. That's good. Three fearsome. Hey, what's up, Yud? No attacks? They're just like, just straight up no attacks. 
Well, I guess it's just you and me, Fishbones. Straight up no attacks. Went to take a 30 minute nap and woke up two hours later. Yep. <laughs> That'll happen. <laughs> anyway, thanks thanks for rejoining here, Yud. Vile feast. Another Vile Feast? Maybe. Definitely think they have Brittle Steel. Like I think I think that, that that whole Vile Feast thing was about Brittle Steel. But I don't think I risk them having another Vile Feast. here ash i like this just having a ton of just having a ton of jinxes in the deck so you just keep on drawing get excited every turn Everyone this is like that's really sweet especially how we're drawing these extra cards like the amount of cards that are not get excited um you know <laughs> so let's see we have four fives so we have the four extra Jinxes plus the other two. So we have six Jinxes in the deck. And then... Here's some. Sure, boss. So we have the six of them that are Jinxes. And then, you know, I think we had, like, either, you know, either two or three regular Get Excited still in. So we have somewhere between eight or nine Get Excited out of the 28 cards right now. There's one. Let's show our friends the door. Show me your best. Oh, I had a withering whale. I got greedy. I got greedy. My opponent's like, how do they keep on drawing? Get excited. Every turn. We do the same thing. Boo. Unfortunately, it's not going to be good enough to win. They had a bunch of really good cards. Good hand. But Look out there. so not good enough to win, but it's definitely really cool though. Braum doesn't seem to be helping whatsoever. <laughs> Braum doesn't seem to be doing a darn thing. Uh... Both of these games, Braum is just sat there looking like a card three mana champion that doesn't do anything. 
but oh well the counterfeit copies jinx stuff's been awesome yeah there could be something to this jinx idea you know maybe have it with like i don't know like uh heimerdinger so you, you can get some some units to play also See ya, Brom. Alright, Brom did something. It got discarded. Let us play our Urchin. It's doing stuff. Okay. So you're saying, okay, watching the person who made the deck, you know, says that watching it, that the Brom does look pretty bad here, and also saying that the the games in Master that we're playing are different than the games in the lower rank. I could see there being something to that. Alright, so we just shuffled a bunch more Jinx Get excited in And so I'll dis so I feel like we can discard the other one and now we get to flip the jinx. Leveled up. So now it's starting this next turn we get to draw two. Jinx get excited and a regular get excited. Smile. It's called Let's just attack play. here. Fair enough. Rules are made to be broken. My buildings are people. Good thing we got more jinxes. <laughs> This is pretty awesome. We just always are going to draw two cards a turn. What are they going to do? Kill my Jinx? We'll just play another one. <laughs> what are they going to do? Kill the Jinx? They understand how many Jinxes we got over here. I don't think they do. Because I, I discarded a Jinx already, and then they've killed two Jinx, and then I just played another, and now we just drew another. Dude, this is sweet. <laughs> this deck is awesome. <laughs> For the thrill of battle. Uh, for the thrill of battle. I should have just done both of these upstairs before attacking. I could have attacked with, for another two points of damage. Is awesome. This is a Jinx dominated game right here. What is this? No Jinx?
All right, we gotta find, gotta find two more points of damage. Um, probably include drawing a Jinx. There we go. Thank you. Rules are made to be broken. My children, her people. My blade calls. Rummage those away. Get a super mega death rocket. And super mega death rocket. Opponent surrendered! Jinx! Man, what a game! <laughs> Dude, Braum did put in some good work getting discarded twice. And not not having us draw over the entreat. That was awesome. That was great. Come on, pup. Come on. Here you go. You can come on up here, puppy. Just don't don't sit on my tie. Ow. You're choking me. You're choking me. <laughs> that was pretty awesome. Okay, um, I don't even know if Braum's gonna do much here because all their stuff is fearsome. Is this just like a, a fearsome deck? I guess they got like the spiders. Uh, I, I mean, we should probably keep Braum. We should probably keep Braum against the deck that trying to attack us and everything. Uh, Braum's in the deck to play defense and help the game go really long because that's what you want with um, cause that's what you want with with our Jinx late game as we saw we just want the game to go really long for the homestead At least so fearsome. Have you met my pets? Many legs. They shouldn't you attack with the omen honk. Discards that. Let's go, our friends. Then show me your best. Well, this stuff's fearsome. Um. This is definitely a, a, a real hole that we have in the deck. Uh, so I was hoping to draw another Braum where I could give this uh, the take heart. This is definitely a hole we have in the deck of dealing with uh, fearsome stuff. I mean, and elusives, you know, like basically fearsome and elusives. how it is.
yeah, the Lucas and Teemo have been your two main problems. Um, I mean, we do have, like, some removal for Teemo, I guess. Like, some cheap removal. Seems like, yeah, elusives and, and fearsome. Like, like, these Brahms haven't done a lot. And then the Eager Apprentice can also probably be upgraded. But I, I do understand the Eager Apprentice, how it's basically zero cost. And so it helps you unload your hands quickly. Okay, that's important. I feel this by sword. All Brom needs to do is survive two damage to level up, so it's not like we have to... Uh, I guess I should... Should I be... I guess I should be attacking with Jinx. But we don't need to try to, like, risk Brom by having it take, like, four power things. I should I should take the Skitter though, because then if they had um, Glimpse Beyond, like that gives them like a good Glimpse Beyond target to sacrifice and then free up a spot for them. Anything else? <laughs> Stick your lip out and give them puppy eyes. Oh wait, I need to discard a card for this. Right. Alright. So I'm not going to let them play another fearsome creature. I'm not going to kill these right now. Should have probably just played the Eager Apprentice and held on to the Urchin to discard. Kill these things during combat. Or at least try to. I guess we're not going to be able to. I guess they have, well, like, Mark of the Isles or something. Maybe they just have a whole bunch of units. And they can't, they couldn't play anything. Now we have a Poro. We got, we have a, we now, like Brahms, Brahms doing some work now. We get some Poros. We now have things to block Fearsome. Huh. Okay, well. I guess that's a thing. All right, we need to draw. We need to draw Jinx. We need to draw Jinx. Let me change into something more. Come to that's that's our only out right now. Draw Jinx. Jinx. <laughs> Flame Chompers. That's not a good card. Well, I'll keep this in case we draw Get Excited. Keep it in hand. It doesn't do anything in, in play. That's not a good card either. Alright, one and three. We've had some fun with it, though. Play one more. Maybe we get another win. Finish two and three. Nothing wrong with two and three. Let's get this last one. People did uh, predict that this would be a one four. 
That's what chat predicted. I feel good about it, though. I think we can get this. See, look at this start. I'm not sure what the Brahm's gonna do. This is not a not a good Brahm matchup. Right. I'll likely just be discarding Brahm. Do I even want to draw a champion? Man, the rest of our hand is really bad. I just want to play this, you know, experimenter. Get a new hand. Um. cards. We are doing that. We are drawing cards. Ooh, that's good. Take from the rich, give to me. All right, good job, Brom. Play some defense. 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 Shuffle a bunch more jinxes into the deck. Draw more jinxes. Fight, Take heart the Braum. Hope they don't draw one of their three Will of Ionias. Still play the Eager Apprentice first and then the Get Excited. This cannot hide. But I probably will just discard the Eager Apprentice to the Get Excited. Probably. Um, no, we'll play it. How can I help? Absolute killer. Do I even want to replay Braum? I 
I didn't want to draw the Jinx right here, because now we have to just discard the Jinx. Um, but we are, you know, drawing farther into our deck. Oh, I don't know. I should be attacking with the Ego Apprentice, of course. Oh, okay, never mind. We'll just have a backup Jinx. Um... Do have a lot of these. Put on me mask, secure me tail, start the day. I can't like sit back and like try to kill all of their stuff. I, I am gonna just be sending all the get excited everything upstairs because yeah, you know, like this deck like we're we're gonna die in just a couple of turns. So we still have to do 16 points of damage. I just don't think that that's really gonna be possible. But we have to try to do as much damage to them as possible. Got another get excited to go upstairs. That's good. I will play my part. Um, block here, block here. Yeah, I could play that, but I'll just take my new cards. Will of Ionia is the worst thing that we could see here. Like, bouncing the Jinx. And then we have to just discard it. Slow, spe slow spell. MHC. Thank you very much. Greetings from the YouTube watchers. Thank you. Yeah, welcome. Welcome. Thank you. And and. Uh, of course, all, all the YouTube watchers, thanks thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. Hope you've enjoyed the different decks today. Getting to, getting to see some different stuff. Um, a deck like this, like, like we knew going in that like this wasn't going to be like a, a top tier deck or anything. Do y'all think that I should be playing decks like this against 
Like, should I just be playing, like, you know, like, just, like, in the random play queue? You know, know like, where you just, against. you know, play against an opponent? Like, I'm playing in ranked. And so, you know, like, we're playing against the, you know, the tier one decks here in Masters. And our deck's just not good enough. Um, and this is over. Do you think, uh, yeah, like, we're taking 12? Do y'all like that I'm playing them in, in, uh, you know, janky decks like that, that, you know, are, or like, you know, that's the other option is versus player in normal, um, where maybe we don't get paired against the tierest of one decks. But anyway, um, so yeah, let, let me know in the comments, like what the, you know, especially those of y'all on YouTube, let me know what you, what you think, like which way. Uh, you prefer uh, but anyway yeah so the the whole like jinx and having a ton of jinxes and counterfeit copies on jinx that was actually really powerful that was that was really good I did like that a lot um, the uh, a lot of the other parts of the deck not as much like stuff like Braum uh, Braum flame chompers like these these cards didn't really ever do anything um, but then also, you know, Eager Apprentice, the Urchin, it's pretty whatever. Uh, a lot of the other cards didn't really do very much, but um, that part of the deck was really powerful. Um, I feel like we could we could be doing better things with that, but that's that's good to to find. You know, like that was something that we really learned from this video is is that that's uh, Jinx with counterfeit copies. That's a, a really powerful um, combination of cards. Um, Yeah, I think I think like a lot of this this other stuff was pretty low power and not not very impactful, but but that part was awesome. So we'll have to see what what we really want to do with that. Maybe it's uh, play Heimerdinger, um, and so then where Heimerdinger can can get you turrets that you just get to keep playing turrets. Uh, so you you know like uh, even though you empty your hand, um, you still have like other things to play. Maybe that's that's the direction to go. Maybe I'm not sure. I'm not sure exactly where we'll go with that, but um, yeah, it was the other part was good. Yeah, maybe just Jinx. Um, I could see maybe going like Jinx Ash and playing a lot of Frostbite stuff, a lot of like Brittle Steels and things like that, and going like Jinx Ash. And then you can still have your entreats to get you extra ash. Like, cause also just having, you know, like counterfeit copies on ash would also be pretty good. Like shuffling more ashes in, into your deck would also be something that would not be bad. And that's, that's another good thing to entreat. And the thing about like brittle steel and harsh winds and cards like that are like, there's times that like those cards, um, you know, like if your opponent attacks you with like a, you know, like a regular, you know, three power elusive, and you or like a you know two two elusive and you just brittle steal it all you're doing is just paying one mana to gain two life and that's not very good but if you know you're just going to keep on re redrawing cards and drawing lots of cards um and you don't you don't really care but you can just throw you know basically turn these into life gain spells uh but then have them that can uh, have them level up your ash and ash can just be another finisher you know like that can give you something to get more damage across besides just the jinx like where they won't have blockers I could definitely see going Jinx Ash with base with you know a similar kind of deck, except for you know get rid of like the get rid of like Jury Rig and Rummage and Urchin and Eager Apprentice and Flame Choppers you know get rid of all those things, and then you know get the third copy of counterfeit copies and maybe even the third and treat and just you know fill it in with all the Frostbite stuff. I could see doing that. Could see doing that. Anyway, there we go. That's Brom Jinx. All right, so those of y'all watching on YouTube, hit that like button, like I said, and of course, leave those comments. You know, let me know what you think about, uh, you know, as we talked about, like with, you know, playing in ranked or normal, as well as uh, let me know what you thought about the weird champ combo day today. And if you have any other ideas for some weird champ combos, like maybe Jinx and Ash, like I was talking about. But if there's anything else, uh, other ones that you have ideas for, uh, maybe I'll do this again next week. All right, uh, but thank you so much for watching some Brom Jinx, and I'll see you for the next video.